we tried the best burger in LA featuring Ingalam. I'm assuming this place is called Easy Street. Never heard of it, but apparently it's the best burger place in LA. If you guys are from LA, you can have to let me know in the comment section. Before we do jump in this, around 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you're one of the 80%, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out and really help out the channel. But yeah, let's get into this and see what we got, man. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Oli. I'm Inka. And today we're gonna try the best burger in LA. I'm excited for today. Same. Supposedly, what the best burger in LA? Suppo supposedly, according to Keith Lee. According, according to, Keith to Lee. I mean, who is almost always right? Yeah. yeah. In Keith, we trust. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Show you some burgers. Season in Lacey. This is the best burger I've ever had, let alone in LA. We had to order uh, uh, our burgers an hour in advance. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you for doing huh? that. Because it's a popular spot. Let's go sit down. Let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. You have to order your burgers an hour in advance, bro. How popular is the place? Oh, oh. wow, look at that. Oh. That's timing. <laughs> yes. That was an hour in advance. We timed that That was not quickly. planned. Yo, no wait, way. how much did you order? Oh, oh my god. Look they at look that. Good. Oh, the bun is still connected. Wait, the like bun a hot is dog so almost. Nice. Oh, it's like brioche. Yeah. I know oh. bread is the way to your heart, so <laughs> uh, well, I'm curious yes. to see what you think. Oh, they look good. Oh, they look good. Okay, Ollie, come on. I need to get in on this action. That looks really good. Looks really good. Ah, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I wasn't expecting them to look that good, bro. They look insane. It's really good. Oh. <laughs> Keith, Keith, Keith. Wow. That's a damn good burger. That is a damn good burger. That's crazy. You talking about these lacy bits, right? Mm. Yes. You watched the video too, huh? I don't think you understand how crispy it is until you experience oh, it yourself. I've never seen like this thin of like the crispy little burger edges. Yeah, it, it. kind of looks like bacon in a way. Look at the seasoning. Like really crispy well bacon. Can you see that? Oh. So crispy. Wow. That is a huge mouthful. The bacon one. How do you even get the crispy like thin edges of the burger? Like how did he even do that? And it's like bursting with bacon. Oh, oh wow, okay. That's how they announce their orders, I guess. Sounds yeah. like we're in prison. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this in prison and you haven't put in your order yet for your last meal. Nice. Can they watch YouTube? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> no, Inga, you Yo, are... in the comments, there's going to be some people be like, yeah, yeah, I'm watching this from prison, man. Uh, if I was with a heads up. American, but you're also a Hong Konger. Mm -hmm. And I think you've said that every aspect of your content in some way relates mm -hmm. To your upbringing mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and visits to your grandfather in Taiwan. Where does oh, this Oh, does she just go around <laughs> Hong Kong and just eat food? Oh, you know what? I need a job where I go around and just eat food. That would be, you know what? I should, I need to just go America and do these type of videos. Where does the Americanness fit? I mean, I think the Americanness kind of comes in growing up in Hong Kong. I think there is that sort of like duality of yeah, you yeah, have both right. East and West. So I grew up with Asian cuisine and Western cuisine, and that encompasses like Italian, you know, American. Right, right, right. I don't know right, a lot of a lot of different things. So we're. Oh, I just can't stop looking at the burgers in the box. They look so good, man. Come in, I feel like we always go to eat a burger on. Sundays. It's like our family dinner. Like, oh, really? dinner. Yeah. So we like go play tennis, badminton, yeah. and then we finish off with a burger. That's definitely something that I relate to as well. Like my grandma's actually Chinese. Wait, um, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, She's not, not like food. immediately obvious. But yeah, my grandma's Chinese. So my dad. Wait, I didn't know this one. Okay. My dad grew up in Hong Kong. He lived there for oh. 19 years. And uh, oh, wow. yeah, my, my granddad was like a British policeman in Hong Kong and oh, wow. got married to a, a Chinese lady in Hong Kong. So like whenever me and my dad's side of the family, we get together, he's almost always on a Sunday and we're always having dim sum. So it's kind of like the reverse. Wait, situation. Always having what? He's almost always on a Sunday and we're always having dim sum. So Dim sum, what? Is that like ch a Chinese meal or something? Hong Kong meal? So it's kind of like the reverse situation oh God, from I you. And then I think also just like the way that I've always related to that side of the quarter Chinese in me, it's been through food. Mm. I guess it's got Chinese. Chinese stomach. I've got, I've got a bit of a Chinese summer. Well, and it's about Chinese a quarter taste buds. of you, because you <laughs> eat a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of room in there. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, uh, it's an impressive Chinese stomach. I've got the Chinese metabolism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, man, I wish I had that. <laughs> no? Wait, can you eat spicy? I love spicy food. It makes you me sweat, too. though. I sweat like, I sweat like the white... Wait, I swear Oli can't... I swear he can't eat spicy foods. Oh, can he? I, I thought he can't handle it. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I, but I love it. I, I ironically sweat like a Chinese guy. Wait, we, we yeah. Wait. all right, all right. You've got to prove it right now. About eating okay, just like sure these. Oh. Yeah. Funnily enough, I've grown intolerance over the years. 
Wow. I think we broke up Ollie's spice tolerance, probably. Bro, I love jalapenos. Oh, I want that burger so bad. I want that. Listen, there's actually a burger around me that does like, um, they get kind of like, this is what I call crazy with burgers. But it's not just like plain and basic, right? They do like burger with jalapeno and cheese. You can have hash brown. Oh, it's so good. With a video or two that we did. On your rings like as the well. Thing yeah, possible. It was like, you know, the Navy SEALs, the training? Uh -huh. Yeah. And they almost reach death, but they get stronger and through that it. That was exactly. you. There was what a few episodes we did. Uh, what yeah. Yeah. Wait, did you do the hot ones, the, the line the of bomb? the sauce? Thing. The bomb like, almost destroyed me. Yeah. This is oh, training right really now. Nicer. Oh, it looks so Didn't even good. Play, just nothing. So we became familiar with your content back when you were with BuzzFeed mm -hmm. through About to Eat, Worth It, and Tasty, obviously. Mm -hmm. But you've recently left the roost, as it were. Yes, sir. Jumped out of the nest. Indeed. And flapped. Flapped. Flown away. Desperately flapped. <laughs> Desperately <laughs> flying away, those. <laughs> Um, it was Yo, those fries look insane as well. They actually look so crispy. Exactly like that, you know? I think I jumped out of the nest and it was um, terrifying for really? a long time. I mean, yeah. Westview was my first like full-time job after college. And so five years, you know, I'm like working full-time. I know how it works. And then you leave and then suddenly it's like, oh my God, you own your own business. Like what mm -hmm. even is filing a business on your own <laughs> life? You know, there's like so many other things that they don't tell you about. Oh, true. You have to give yourself structure. The things we don't get taught in school preach it you know like you have to plan all these things and i think i wasn't used to that i think one of the things that we've realized over the years is in the so-called creator economy there's like limitless opportunity right yeah. you can always film more you can always uh -huh. tinker with an edit uh -huh. a little more yeah. true also there's often rewards mm -hmm. for that there right are, yeah. man i can't stop looking at this food bro yeah that reward is eating this food i ain't gonna lie i've got my eyes just like I'm, I'm listening to them but my eyes are just they're just staying on the food i can't i can't <laughs> i can't escape it i'm trapped yeah. so because of that mechanism it becomes really hard to stop because you're just like well if i if i work through the weekend i'll make more money yeah and so I think it and takes time no, to learn self-restraint. There's no limit until you just suddenly burn out and then you're then bam, in force break. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is so real. Yeah. You're telling me it doesn't end. Yeah. No, but but this is I feel like that that's exactly what it is. I feel like so you hit good. it right on the nail where there is no cap. And the thing about how you will get rewarded the more you do, and yeah. so you have to put a cap on yourself and know when it is a good place to stop. True. And I think that is yeah. a lot harder than people say it is. Oh definitely. Yeah. The only way really to learn and know, find out where you need to set your limits is by trying and getting it wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah break. you know what? I think I gotta try my very best next year. Get to America, right? And if it goes wrong, <laughs> at least I get a load of nice food. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I gotta try next year. It can be a pretty painful yeah, process. In my yeah. Case. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've been there. We've definitely yeah. been there. Yeah, yeah. The, is that grilled onions too? So grilled oh. onions. We've got presumably like the burger meat, uh -huh. melted cheese, oh and fries. Mm. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is something that we just cannot get in London. It's interesting. It's kind of it reminiscent so of good. Five Guys. Mm. Obviously, there were five guys making that. I think there's three or four in there. I'm so bad. that's the, I can't think of a different. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think oh, of that. I'm so of the hungry right now. now. <laughs> so far, tried the original. You tried the bacon. How does this compare? You must have tried a lot of burgers in America. I've tried a lot of burgers. Um, I think the thing that it really does so differently is... Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm going to choose my, the best looking right now. You know what? The best looking, if I was going to go with something, I'm going to go with this burger right here with the jalapenos. I have to. Jalapenos are one of my favorites. Um, it'll, pro it'll probably be this. And then this, because this is like the meat with fries. Oh, I just All of it. All of it. I'm chasing all of it. I'm it really about. does so differently is yeah. the laciness of it. Oh, so where good. Where they smash it so thin that it just like crisps in its own fat. Crispy beef yeah. is like I don't get how they made that. Yeah. If you're ever in New York, there's this place called Seventh Street Burger. But I feel like that's the closest I've had to this. Okay. That's unreal. But what this place that, does better is the crispy. Would you say that's the best burger in New York? In my opinion, yes. Wow. For okay. a simple okay. burger. Uh, We're gonna need to try that. Okay, for like back to basics. Yes. Okay. No yes. frills. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. One more burger to try. Are you ready? You full? I am pretty. I, we just like quietly finished. We did. We just burger plowed each. through a burger each, right. and there's still more. So I really want to taste this. I'm gonna let you have the first oh, bite. I'm just going to 
Oh, oh what is so in. bad? I have never in my life seen someone fold a burger pack. <laughs> that, I'm impressed. You're going to try that? Okay. Oh, this is wow. heavy. Oh, my gosh. You know oh. what? That's actually true. I've never ever seen anyone fold a burger pack, ever. It would just snap. Fair enough. Just don't dislocate your jaw, whatever you do, okay? Because I'm scared. Oh, you oh. didn't even get any top bun. Look how much meat that is. So when we ordered, the guy inside was highly recommending the The meat just looks so different as well. Like, I, I don't get it. How do you guys make your food over there? I don't, I don't understand. Oh he was. You know what? I would say that's not as good. Really? Ah, because okay. it's more like a thick burger. Ah. Because it, okay. they're all okay. mashed together. Right. So it's the meatiness overwhelms the crispiness a little bit, and yeah. you like that. Well, he didn't get any bun. bun. Really, really work. You said this is a sweet potato bun? I think it's a sweet potato roll, yeah. They're usually softer. How do they, you make they say bread squishy? from sweet potato? How is that thing? <laughs> 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 okay, so you're a, I guess a New York representative here, here in LA. Uh huh. You going for Shake Shack or In and Out? I I stand by Shake Shack. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. I, okay. I'm gonna, you know what? I can't wait. I actually can't wait. There's so much for me to try in America. I actually can't because I know I'm gonna get over there, right? And I know I'm just gonna be a kid in a candy shop with all the different like fast foods and restaurants and food options I have. Wait, like, let me explain. Please let do, please do. Okay. In and Out is great for if you consider the value. Okay. It's great flavor, uh, great yeah. price. But yeah. Shake Shack, it has all the components that make a burger a burger to me, which is like I okay. like it when there's lettuce, I like it when there's tomatoes. Also, I can't lie from seeing the pictures. This place where they're at in LA right now looks way better. Like the burgers look insane. Looks way better, bro. The sauce at Shake Shack is just insanely good. I love it. Also, the bun is really good. Okay. Patties, I like it. So uh -huh. it's just like as a whole, Shake Shack, yeah. I think is a more gourmet, I okay. guess, is what they would call it. It is a little more expensive, but. But you're in New York. I love you Shake Shack. Everyone yeah. in New York is really rich. Yes. <laughs> no, that is not true. Well, everything just costs loads of money. <laughs> really rich, but spending all of their money on rent. Okay, wait, I have one more recommendation. Oh, okay, so if okay. you're ever at the Shake Shack yeah. in the uh, airport in the morning, uh -huh. and it has to be in the morning, Shake right. Shack has a breakfast menu. They have a sausage, egg, and cheese. That I'll is be like the best sausage, egg, and cheese I have had from a chain. You can only uh -huh. get it at the airport because in normal locations, they don't open before 11. So they don't do a breakfast at all? I haven't seen it. So only what? at the airport. Oh, this is like insider wow. information so you need to go, yeah. If you're Hello. flying out, wow. go check it out. Okay. okay. Well, Inka, it has been oh, an I'm absolute so pleasure. Yeah. Now. Thank you for helping us destroy Easy Street Burgers. Oh, the leftovers. Best burger in LA? Well, it's the only one we've had on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it is de facto I mean, it's definitely the winner. the best one I've had. Keep it out of 10 out of 10. So. You gave it 10 out of 10. See, 10 feels like you're limiting yourself. Like there's no room for improvement. Right? Yeah, so I see what I, he's I saying. Say 9.9? <laughs> I mean, I'd be okay with 9.9. I'd be okay with 9. I'd be okay. I like that. No, actually, uh, you know what? I think, yeah, 9.9 .9 is still too high. 9. Point I don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> what are they going with? <laughs> All right, fair enough. That was a really good video. I'm so hungry now. I really want to try that burger. I ain't going to lie. If you guys have had that place, let me know what it's like in the comment section. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.